Trevor, WWE TBQ asks, how can we play with you? For anyone who's been following my stuff on Xbox Live or PSN or Steam, is going to notice primarily I play single player games. It's kind of like, I have so many games in my backlog, so many unfinished games that are all single player. I don't really have time to play multiplayer when there's no real end point to it. Like, they're fun, you know, and I can appreciate a good multiplayer, but... I'm just primarily trying to finish a lot of single player. Now, if your question is how can you play with Grim and me on when, when, when we record our show, our setup is not really set up for that, unfortunately. The whole thing with the internet and the headsets and everything else, it just doesn't really work. Sorry. Question from WBE po X Pokemon 360 wants to know, do you, I think that Mattel will ever make any TNA figures like they do WWE figures? I don't watch TNA. I haven't watched TNA in years, and I just don't collect figures, so that's not really a question for me, because I don't really care. Sorry. Question from Accept My Shaft, and that's... That's some Gary Oak motherfucker shit right there. Uh, you can't, you can't ignore my girth. Anyway, he asks, uh, are you, am I going to see the new TMNT movie? Uh, I did watch a lot of that stuff as a kid, like the cartoon, I had a bunch of the toys and all that stuff, and... I did watch the original movies, you know, when th those were out when I was, like, you know, a, a teenager, but I don't have any interest in a Michael Bay-produced TMNT. I think the designs look like, yeah, no, I'm not going to go see that. If, if it's on the internet for free, then maybe I'll watch it, but whatever. Bo Lindsay asks, <laughs> that is not a question. A bunch of people here, I'm going to read the names here, Payne Hernandez... Uh, the best WWE champ won, Anthony First Fist Gaming, and, uh, Ibrahim Bahez asks, Who are my favorite, or who is my favorite WWE superstar? I would say right now, at this very moment as I'm recording this, August of 2014, my, my, my favorite guy to watch is Dean Ambrose. I think he has everything in his character fucking nailed down pat. I think he is an entertaining wrestler. Uh, the only part of his package I don't like is his little fucking... When he's, he's like a cat. He's like... Rawr, like that part of it I don't, I don't like. But I think he brings the right amount of intensity. And I think a close second right now is Cesaro, who is just freaky strong. That guy is fucking amazing. Back in the 90s, I got into wrestling by watching The Undertaker. I thought that his whole thing was fucking creepy and amazing. And there was a brief period where I was like super into X-Pac for some reason. I think it's because everybody hated him. Like, he had that X-Pac heat. And I was like, no, man, X-Pac's cool. Like, what, what's, what's wrong? He's cool. Question from Benny Starr Jr. asks, What is your favorite WWE game? This is not a hard decision. It is No Mercy. For the N64. Fucking great game. Haven't made one that good since. It's a goddamn shame. Come back to us, Aki. Please, we need you. Stop making style-savvy games. Just come back and make a wrestling game. Somebody pay them, contract them, make a wrestling game. God damn it. Ukes is fucking terrible. I hate you, Ukes. The Mega X Gamer asks, what is your favorite system? That's a hard one. Uh, I would say of all time, probably a tie between Super Nintendo and PS2. Merely because they had so many amazing games on those systems. So uh, if I, if I want to go back and play some of my favorite games of all time... It'll be either on the Super Nintendo or the PS2. Uh, my, my favorite current system uh, of like the past, like say, decade is probably Xbox 360 because it just that was the default system for a long time. Um, and moving forward, I guess the PS4 is going to be amazing. But if you want to say fuck all that PC, PC Master Race, I'm not going to argue. All right, a couple of people asked this. Uh, Payne Hernandez, uh, the best of WWE champ, won. And Kyle Riker asked, what is the favorite game to play with Grimm on Perplexing Pixels? And to that, I will say, go back and watch that bonus pixel of Gang Beasts. That game is amazing as a multiplayer game. It is so fun. It is so funny. Uh, the Steam Early Access of that is coming out August 29th. I can't wait to play it again. I'm going to try to bring it over again and have some fun with it. That game is a blast. A couple of people here, uh, Big Man Top Shot and Mega X Gamer asking, what is my, my favorite game of all time? This is an easy one. I will say this anytime anyone asks me, it is going to be Earthbound for the Super Nintendo. One of my favorite games of all time. It is where I got my name from. 
Attack Slug, and uh, it is just a great game. If you can find a copy, they're not cheap. Uh, but if you get it, on, if you, if you have a Wii U, it is on the digital store on the eShop uh, where it is much cheaper. But this cartridge worth about two hundred at least. But yeah, get a Wii U for cheap and get that for like ten bucks. Kyler's two thousand asks, "What is your favorite moment in wrestling?" And I tend to go toward the more corny ass stuff people are going to remember for years to come. Mae Young gives birth to a hand. My baby! My baby! Um, stuff like, uh, where to, Stephanie? And, you know, buckle up, Teddy! And just, you know, the the things that, that me and Grimm and the Ninja Twins are going to joke about for years and years because they were so corny, they were so dumb, but they were so funny. Kane and Undertaker were backstage before a pay-per-view. And... Kane sits down, and he goes, Sup, take. That was the worst thing, but it was fucking amazing. Jake Fuller on Twitter asks, Do you watch any sports besides WWE? It's not a sport. And who is your favorite team? I don't watch any sports. Not a single one. Uh, I didn't... As a kid, I played video games. I never cared about, you know, football or baseball or soccer or hockey or any of that shit. I, I, I don't... I don't care. The the fact that I'm still watching wrestling in and of itself is kind of amazing, but it's more or less a soap opera and not really a sport. As as Vince would say, it's sports entertainment, damn it! Don't call it wrestling! BDM861 asks, are you a fan of manga? If so, what are your favorites? If not, favorite comic book? Uh, I do read quite a bit of manga. I would say top favorite of all time, One Piece. As I've been reading it for like, you know over a decade now, and it is still awesome, they are still doing fucking amazing things in that story, and it is still entertaining each and every week. Uh, I don't really read any comic books, per se, I never really got into comics, but yes, I read um, things like At At Attack on Titan and One Piece, and um, usually what happens is I'll be watching an anime, and it'll end, and I'll be like, wait a minute, there's more story there, and then I'll go read the manga, uh, and you know, as long as they're updating that. I've certainly finished, you know, my fair share of manga that I can't recall off the top of my head, but I will certainly read some uh, if the story is interesting. I actually want to start reading, um, I want to start reading Tokyo ESP because I hear that the anime is kind of a Cliff Notes version of the manga, so I'm going to start reading that. Smackdown Boulevard, which is at the corner of Jabroni Drive, asks, Do you enjoy the current product in WWE? If not, what would you change? And do you watch any other wrestling promotions? I don't watch any other wrestling promotions. I don't have time. There's like seven or eight hours of WWE every week, and I can barely manage to watch all of that. Like, I watch a lot of Raw, and I kind of, you know, I, I have on SmackDown while, while I'm playing games uh, on Fridays or Saturdays, but I don't watch main event. I don't watch superstars. Obviously, I watch the pay-per-views, but there's just too much. Like, I don't really care about TNA, uh, I, I've, I've never seen Ring of Honor, I've never seen New Japan, uh, you know, I'll see matches here and there, but, you know, people will send me links to matches and I'll watch those, but other than that, like, I, I just don't, don't, don't have time. Uh, do I enjoy the current product? Uh, it's okay, I mean, it has good weeks and bad weeks, uh, they, they, they have a tendency to, you know, have a really cool moment or a really cool thing going on and then immediately ruin it, like Fandangoing, Adam Rose, uh, they just have a, t like, as soon as it starts to catch on the least bit, they were like, oh god, mainstream attention, and then just totally kill it, you know, look at CM Punk, like, that was 2011, fucking, that was amazing, when he fucking took the belt and left, I was fucking excited, and they just, at some point, we had to watch Triple H vs. Kevin Nash, like, what? How is that important? And what would I change to make it better? Just put Paul Heyman in charge of booking. Like, look at what he did on SmackDown with the, with the SmackDown 6 in the, the 2000s. Put him in charge of the booking, remove uh, Steph and Vince from the equation, and maybe bring back Shane if he wants to come back? I don't think he will. Question from Jake Lindsay who asks, Do you collect Transformers? No, I don't want any more pieces of plastic if I can possibly help it. In my house, I have enough video games and game systems, and that's where kind of all my extra money goes, is to game stuff. Uh, I don't have any shelves in here either, so it's just not going to work. No. Question from the Mega X Gamer who asks, What did you think when you found out CM Punk left WWE? Uh, I think it's kind of simple. That dude uh, gets to sit at home. He never has to work another day in his life. He can watch his hockey. 
he can buy his comic books, and he's married to AJ. What more could you want? Like, I'm not mad that he's not coming back. Like, he wanted to leave. He was bur burned out. Like, I can understand being burned out from a job. I can understand not wanting to be on the road 300 days a year. And I can understand having to be in a company where you are never going to be more important than John Cena. So, is what it is. Question from Rafael Morales, who asks, Are you interested in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare? Nah. I don't play a lot of FPS. And I don't play Call of Duty. And I just don't care. It's just explosions and Michael Bay shit. And eh, it's not... It's... The FPS that I like when I played them was like old school Doom, old school Wolf, Wolfenstein. Like, you know, there were, there were maps and key cards, and not just, you know, a corridor with guys to shoot and explosions. This is not terribly interesting to me. Question from Soccer Player, who asks, Are you ready to see WWE 2K15 come out? I would like to think that now that 2K owns that franchise, and they are helping, that it won't be as comically broken and shitty as it's been for the past 15 years. But every year, they say, It's gonna be better. We're making it better. Don't worry, guys. This year, we get it. This year, it's going to be fun. This year, it's going to be awesome. And I never believe them, because every year, it is. I just don't have any fun playing them. Like, I've tried to get into them, and I just don't have any fun playing them. But I guess I'll go back and play No Mercy and have a great time. So, I don't understand. Just, I'm hoping that in this transition from THQ to 2K, they will just kind of phase out Ukes and have the guys who made the good stuff at 2K, like those old... Football games, they, they, all those guys there are still there at visual concepts to make a good wrestling game. Fingers crossed. Question from Harry Edgson, are you making any new tracks because I enjoy your tracks? Uh, am I working on any new music? Not at the moment. Uh, I have some beats, I have some ideas, but I have not sat down to actually write anything in about like eight or nine months now. Just because that last album was like four years in the making, it was just such an effort to get it done, to get it out the fucking door. I was so burned out on the music production process. Now, I like writing, you know, I like making something from nothing, and I like recording, mostly, but all the post-production part of it is just such a fucking hassle, like the mixing and the mastering and all that, just, it's, it's, it's a fucking headache. But yes, I do want to work on some new stuff, I'm hoping to buy some new equipment that is going to speed up that whole production process soon, hopefully this year. Uh, so, uh, I wouldn't say, you know, like in the next month or so, but hopefully I'll have something out by the end of the year, but no promises. Question on Twitter from the Idle Mind who asks, are there, are, are there any collab raps in the pipes? Have you heard anything from Kabuto? And will I collab with Kabuto again? I talk to him, um, somewhat regularly, uh, on the internets, on the tubes, you know, I certainly have contact with him on, on a somewhat regular basis. I know that he's working on his patreon stuff so he's getting new equipment soon uh but i don't currently have any collaborations in the works I, I currently don't have any songs like right now that are actually in any kind of a shape to let anybody hear it's just kind of you know i have beats and i have ideas i haven't actually written any lyrics uh in the in the recent months so right now no but i certainly have enough people that i've worked with in the past that i could certainly give a call and be like yo let's, let's, let's get something done and uh, those people are usually down to do something. So I wouldn't put it past uh, any kind of a future thing. Uh, I would definitely... I haven't burned any bridges, I don't think. So in the future, probably. Getting close to the end here. Uh, we got Hunter Banks, who's being a greedy motherfucker, asking me five questions. I'm going to answer them, because I, I said I would. Number one. What is one match you will hope will happen at WrestleMania 31? I want to see Cesaro versus Brock Lesnar. I think that could be fucking amazing. Those guys are both naturally gifted freaks. Number two, do you watch anime? In any given anime se season, I am watching a bunch of shows. Uh, this season, I am watching Gundam San, Majimoji, Rurumo, Aoharu Ride, Barakamon, Persona 4 The Golden Animation, Space Dandy 2, Sailor Moon Crystal, Tokyo ESP, and Zankyo No Terror. So, any season, I'm usually watching a, a couple of shows. And as always, I am watching One Piece. Currently on episode 655. I've seen them all. Number three, what's the best and worst movie you've ever seen? Best movie? 
Jurassic Park, motherfucker. Uh, worst movie, and I'm not gonna recommend, do not watch this movie, it is fucking terrible. There's this low-budget movie called Shattered Dead that I watched, uh, a couple of years back. A friend of mine, we were at a party, and they were like, oh, watch this, it's fucking, it's terrible, but it's great. It's like, no, it was just terrible. It was fucking, it was filmed for like five grand, and it was just fucking terrible. Don't ever watch it. It's bad. Number four, favorite game of all time, already covered that. Earthbound. And five, what is your favorite episode of Perplexing Pixels? I'm gonna say Gang Beast, because it was... Gang Beast because, uh, I've never seen Grimm go from this is dumb to this is fucking amazing in such a short period of time. That was great. And finally, Smackdown, here comes the Pain Legends, asked a couple questions. He asks, did my client Brock Lesnar, uh, I'm sorry, Brock Lesnar. Conquered the Undertaker's undefeated streak. I don't have a client, so then no, I'm not Paul Heyman. I kind of wish I was, but I'm I'm not. Uh, number two, the Bureau XCOM Declassified got bad reviews. What did you think of it? I didn't play it, uh, mostly because I don't really like. I didn't have a history with XCOM. I didn't play the new one, and I know that this was kind of the guys who made Bioshock Two made this. But it didn't look all that interesting, and uh, I'd seen it in a humble bundle for like a dollar, and I was like, nah, I don't care that much. So, no. Nah. Didn't play it. Sorry. And number three, uh, what'd you think of TNA's cancellation? I don't watch TNA. I don't think they're officially canceled yet. Uh, maybe it's soon, but I don't watch TNA. So I, I think it's a shame for everybody involved. I think if a couple of years back they had let Paul Heyman be in charge to give him full control... Uh, they would be, they'd, they'd be in a much better position right now. Instead, Dixie Carter, who is a fucking mark, uh, keeps bringing back Vince Russo, and that pissed off Spike TV, and that put them in the position that they are currently in now. Stop hiring Vince Russo. You gotta understand, in the Golden Age, all of Vince Russo's stuff got filtered through Vince and the rest of creative, and that's what made it good. Uh, just, just having Vince Russo and not having McMahon is not going to work. you got to have two parts of that equation, um, and that is what it is. So, that's going to do it for part two. That is going to do it for this epically long Q&A session where I try to answer everyone's questions to the best of my ability. Uh, I don't know when we'll do one of these again. Maybe, maybe Perhaps when I hit 7,000 subscribers, maybe 8,000. We'll see how it goes this summer. It's been kind of crazy, but... I will certainly do one of these again at some point. Hopefully I answered the questions that you had. Uh, if not, I'm always on Twitter. I'm always on Ask FM. Uh, feel free to send qu questions there, and I will answer them uh, as best as I can. So until next time, I will see you right here on this channel. Attack Slug. My voice is dead, and I'm out.